Tensions at the Indochina border are expected to remain high. And the biggest collateral damage here will be Pakistan. Tensions keep rising at the line of actual control that is the effective Sino-India border. And as India matches up to Chinese build-up at the LAC and stands up against China's aggression, it is Islamabad which stands to lose because the CPEC project is all set to die a second death. Pakistan's economy is irreversibly damaged by rising debt obligations. This is common knowledge and needs no emphasis, but what the border confrontation between India and China does is cast a shadow over the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, a flagship project of Xi Jinping's ambitious intercontinental infrastructure program, the Belt and Road Initiative. As tensions between India and China escalate, and New Delhi and Beijing keep fighting at the LAC, China will be ultimately compelled to stall or slow down progress on the already slow and corruption-ridden CPEC project in Pakistan. Pakistan has been unable to revive its economy and it has lost its hope. So it decided to sell itself to Beijing through the CPEC. But the BRI project, which was originally valued at 46 billion US dollars, is now estimated to be as big as 87 billion US dollars. But the project remains in tatters, and according to a Los Angeles based geopolitics expert, Preeti Opala, the CPEC is going to emerge as a quote unquote trillion dollar blunder. The CPEC project has generated a lot of enthusiasm within Pakistan's political establishment, but the Chinese infrastructure program has failed to pick up. Only a quarter of the CPEC projects have been completed up till date. Islamabad was hoping that the construction of the brand new transport networks, energy projects and special economic zones would resurrect its dipping economy and modernize its outdated infrastructure. But according to the Center for Strategic and International Studies, these special economic zones have remained largely empty. Even apart from the border skirmishes between India and China, the CPEC was already riddled with many obstacles. The Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Provincial Assembly has passed a resolution against the Chinese project. Many of the CPEC projects are to be constructed here. In western Pakistan, the Baloch freedom fighters regularly attack Pakistani and Chinese occupiers, which poses a major threat to the key CPEC investments such as the Gwadar port. The debt quotient of CPEC is huge as it stands at $80 billion and Pakistan has to pay 90% of this debt amount as national debt. Islamabad knows that it will not be able to repay China and ultimately the dragon will execute its colonial schemes of taking over the projects with unsustainable debt obligations. This is what China does everywhere with its BRI project. Pakistan has fallen deep into China's debt trap and has no way out without losing its land and sovereignty bit by bit. But Pakistan doesn't mind because it neither has the capacity nor the will to stand up to the revisionist plans of its all-weather ally, China. China itself plans to bypass going around India in order to reach its trade routes in the Indian Ocean region. The CPEC connects the far western Chinese province of Xinjiang to the Gwadar port in Pakistan-occupied Balochistan. The same roads that will help China with trade are also going to help it move military assets into Pakistan in case of a conflict with India. A Chinese naval base is already being built at the Gwadar port. This is why the CPEC is just crucial to China. But as long as India continues to give China hell for occupying Indian territory, the CPEC project which passes through occupied Indian land will suffer. No country can afford to keep working on a massive infrastructure project while handling a live effective border. The cost overruns are huge and any delay in the CPEC projects will lead to higher costs and also higher debt obligations for Pakistan. India has grown assertive about its territorial claims, and this is a headache for both China and Pakistan. 
last year india abrogated article 370 scrapping the special status of the erstwhile state of jammu and kashmir later india also released a political map strongly asseverating india's consistent and un recognized territorial claims as tensions rise between india and china the possibility of new delhi highlighting the illegality of the cpec at the world forum cannot be ruled out either the ultimate loser will be pakistan as with rising debt and costs pakistan will have to pay up in land and sovereignty and turn into a bigger colony of china than it already is